Sunday morning, the 20th of May, 2018. Yeah, Phoenix Rising got robbed last night. Should have either been a 3-2 win or a 2-2 tie. But they got robbed. Yeah, the refs out there. I don't know. Anyway, they played a good game. Went out, saw the soccer. Got a little extra sun that I wasn't looking upon to get. One of the few venues in, in uh, Arizona for outdoor this time of the year, no less. Anyway, let's see. Oh, yeah. It's time for football. Rattle our football today. Still Kicking butt, ticking names, only lost one game this year and moving along. Headed for another championship. Let's go Rattlers. Anyway, out there. Let's see. Today is National Pick Your Strawberry Days, National Keith Lorraine Day. Kids, National Take Your Parents to the Playground Day, National Be a Millionaire Day. Um, I got a million dollars. What am I going to do with it? Hmm. What am I going to do with it? Hmm. And National Rescue Dog Day. Go adopt one of them adorable puppies from the pound. <sighs> they need to be rescued. They need to be rescued from the rescue. There is no influence like influence of Habert. Gilbert Parker. <coughs> there is no influence <coughs> like the influence of habit. Gilbert Parker. Now, for all you that say, yeah, I'm coughing, hacking, and everything. Why don't I edit it out? Hey, this is real life. Take it as it is. And no, it's a dry cough. Nothing comes up. It's not from smoking cigars. It's from a medication called lisinopril. Which I'm slowly getting off because I keep losing weight. But it's to keep my blood pressure from blowing through the top of my head with you stupid people out there. Anyway. <sighs> Besides being obnoxious about the service dog last night. Normally I don't have the problem. But God, I never found so many stupid people at the soccer game last night. Thought they could just stop and pet. Cut in front. Oh, I didn't see you. Well, I didn't see you, and I'm blind, stupid. You know, that kind of stuff. Anyway. Let's put this in simple terms. I'd rather see a sermon than hear one anytime. Paul Overstreet. Awesome song. Go listen to it sometime. I'd rather see a sermon than hear one anytime. Influence of habit. Okay. Simple cigar 101. How are you cutting your lighter, your, your, your stick? Perfect cutters. You got one of them monster 80 gauges. A little guillotine. How are you lighting it? single light torch or you getting out the big guns the quad <laughs> make my day you see these are all habits 
do you wet the end of your cigar before you cut it? Yep. Do you slobber on your coffee before you partake of your cigar? So you get extra coffee flavor? Nah. Most of the ones I smoke on a regular basis have enough coffee. I don't even need the coffee mug. Well, I can't say that. I do need the coffee mug. This is my second mug already this morning. And I tell you what. Plus, I had a run out last night when I got home from the soccer game. I put a brisket on it. It's looking good. Eat. Oh, yeah. And then this morning, I had to give up what I was doing at work and run out at 5 o'clock and put a turkey breast on. Yeah, I know. It fit just right. Ah, ah, gobble, gobble. No, I had to put it on, on the smoker. But what are you doing? What is your cigar habits? Are your habits always smoking the same thing? Hmm. Are your habits such that people get bad habits from you? Somebody said, when you relight, Doc, how do you do it? And if you look, it's not inhaling, it's blowing it out. Why? Because I don't like the nasty propane, butane, whatever you want to call it. Are you rotating your cigar as you smoke it? So you get an even burn. You see, the influence of habit. People see you, people look up to you, people follow you, and you don't even know it. Your kid looks up to you. What's he going to do? Walk out and go, Daddy's smoking a Swisher Sweet. Ah. Or, Daddy got him a heck of a smoke. He was smoking a Macanudo. You see, you have influence strictly by being, habit, how you do things what you do things. I know two people now that wear fedoras all the time. I wonder why. I know about six or eight people that are losing weight now. I wonder why, fat boy. We're getting to be a ton of fun in our family. Yeah, my sister's over 75 pounds loss. Kathy's within millimeters of it. Or right at it. I'm within millimeters of that 120 line. Yeah. You see, I can't let nobody beat me. That's my influence of habit I have I, everything in life's competition you can't beat me I have to do something better than you why because that's my driving influence there is no influence like the influence of habit if you can have the habit of being somewhat cheerful, painting a smile on your face, fake it till you make it. 
all of that influence is all the way around. Your cigar etiquette is your biggest influence while you be smoking. There it goes, one of them nasty cigar smokers. Oh, he loves his cigars. Hmm, wonder why. What would you rather hear? Nothing. I'd rather see a sermon than hear one any time. Hey, today's lucky stick of the draw. Ha, ha, ha. I like that punter, runner, runner. Macanudo. Inspirado White. I would call this about a 25 on the 0 to 100 scale. I would also call this a good breakfast kicking day. Consider this is my third one of the day. I've already had a couple to get the old heart going. <laughs> it has Ecuadorian Connecticut for the wrapper. Indonesian binder, Nicaraguan Mexican fillers. No shorts in this one. It's made in Dominican Republic. It is a very light brown natural color out there, but it has some awesome creamy earth. It's almost like somebody took leather and heavy cream and put them in there and let them sit. And you age your leather in the cream. Being a leather worker at one time, I used to use that like that because it would put a different tint and feel to the leather, especially for a saddle. Especially when your tiny quarters are going to sit in that saddle. You want that to be strong, but you want to be soft. Because I'm back in the saddle again. Yeah. But it's a very good cigar. It's about five bucks a stick. Would I put it in my everyday? No, because I don't smoke mellow to mediums that often, but I do enjoy them. Would I give this to a beginner? Absolutely. Cigar Etiquette 101. Find something that's not going to blow their socks off and blow them out of the cigar life. You see, the cigar lifestyle. Exactly. So my question is, by what you smoke, by what you do, by where you go, you influence. Just like the stupid people that had to be educated at the soccer game last night because they don't know how. And I don't mean that. I, yeah, I do mean that intentionally. Because they're old enough to know better that you don't just walk up pet a, pet a service dog. That you put your head in the swivel when you're in a crowd instead of just like, or they get glued to their phones. And then they wonder why they get stepped on. Those are, they may not be stupid people, but they're acting stupid. Their actions, their habits will get them hurt every time. If not physically, then they get butt hurt. And then you offend them. And then they go through it all. Anyway, I think I've offended about 30,000 people already this morning. Job. Hey, I'm a grumpy old vet, and I'm doing the best I can at killing it every day, and I just keep on doing it. So if you want to keep hearing all about cigars, different ones, how they relate to the real world, how the rest of the world is a pain in the butt sometimes, but we got to love them. Then stay tuned to Smoking with the Blind Guy. 
because we're going to tell you to smoke what you like, like what you smoke, and remember, kick some ash. <laughs>